And continuing now with local news, they are speaking for their dead children. Moms and dads showing up in federal court today to make sure the man they blame for ruining and in some cases taking their child's life pays for his crimes. News Channel 5's Michelle Casada live in West Palm Beach to share those families' horror stories. Michelle. Michael Kelly, a 22 year old woman, told the judge how Kenny Chapman allowed her to be kidnapped and raped. One parent asked Chapman if he remembered her son who overdosed and died. Another parent asked the judge to sentence Chapman for as long as it takes to bring their children back. Michelle Caron's grandsons will never kiss their mom again. I really thought I was going to just break down in tears. Before 24 year old Micaiah died, Michelle's daughter was hooked on heroin while living at Kenneth Chapman's sober home. She learned Micaiah was tossed out of a car once while she overdosed. Just dumped her like a piece of garbage. Sandra Hinkle said her daughter called after leaving Chapman's treatment center just days before she overdosed and died. She wanted us to be informed in case anything happened to her. And looking back now, I think it was a warning. Kenneth Chapman and his wife Laura admitted they ran a health care fraud scheme. One woman wrote a letter to the judge about how under Chapman's care, she was kidnapped and raped while strapped to a bedpost. She wrote, men came in and paid him money to rape me. He had me extremely intoxicated on unknown sedatives and substances that I was going in and out of consciousness, but was completely aware of myself being raped, molested, emotionally, mentally, physically, sexually abused, and verbally demeaned. I recall close to 150 in total different faces of rapists abusing me daily over a period of three to four weeks. Chapman said nothing in court as the judge sentenced him to 27 and a half years in prison. There will never be enough justice for what he's done and what he's taken. The judge sentenced Laura Chapman's wife to three years in prison starting August 15th. She did apologize to the families in court and said she had no idea about what her husband was doing. Reporting live from downtown West Palm Beach, Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5.